is so I live near the <clears throat> Dallas area and there's a specific area just east of the city that is very old homes that I'm sure families have owned for plenty of years and got very cheap but now they're extremely expensive like three to four hundred dollars per square foot type of homes but they're thousand to fifteen hundred square feet in size so it seems like there's a lot of people that will throw their home out there hoping to get a huge price and they can cash out and move somewhere else are people like that simply gonna be hard to work with? Like there's one guy I've been talking to or playing phone tag with that uh, he's asking prices, uh, 400,000 for a thousand square foot house. Now based on comps I've seen and uh, Zillow and just truly a couple of different websites, it looks like it's probably closer in like the 330 range. <clears throat> so they look to be, they own it free and clear. They look to me like it's more like they're kind of hoping they can get somebody who wants to come demolish it, maybe build something up because it is a big growing area and they're hoping to get an overpayment. That's something that's worth kind of pursuing or maybe just kind of touch in with a little bit here and there and see if they come down in price, but don't necessarily bank on them. Yeah, like each seller is, is <clears throat> their own person. Like they could have their own <clears throat> motivations. Um, is, is this biggest... in the Dallas area, Jared? Are you dealing in the Dallas area, Dallas Fort Worth? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to not buy as much in actual Dallas. It's so expensive, but I'm marketing in the Dallas area. Yeah. As well as That's, Northern that area is over, it's overvalued right now, mm -hmm. uh, but there's still a lot of demand. So, you know, you, you could see some price increases this year, even, <clears throat> um, they're just trying to get out there ahead of the deal. The thing is, as the economy shifts and changes and things like that, it's going to be harder to do high priced homes going to be okay. easier to do more affordable homes and so what you the real thing there you got to figure out is this uh, you know is this in the swath of the path of growth where it <clears throat> wants to move is this considered a high priced home or a starter level home in that area you know that type of thing so okay um but you know not all sellers are going to be deals for us yep okay yep. thank you yep mm -hmm. yep Anything else for now, Jared? Nope, that should be it. Cool. All right, well, thanks for coming on. Yeah, Get thank you. you. back here. Jeff, anything else you want to add there? No, um, I, I just everybody, and we talked about this on our home call, uh, our home team call yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. You know, as we get into this next year, I would be wary of the really high-priced homes. Uh, they're going to take a lot longer to sell and there's a lot fewer buyers out there. One of the reasons that we have the housing problem that we've got right now out there is there just isn't a lot, and you, you see areas like Northern California where the price has actually decreased about 10% in 19, it actually went down. Southern California will see that again this year. They'll see that this year for the first time. The reason is we've, we've as a society, we've wrung out all the high priced buyers. There's, you know, there's a few new ones coming into that pile, but everybody who had the money to buy and overpay has already done that. And so what you've got is this big built up demand at the lower segment of the market for starter homes, beginning level homes, that type of thing. Um, rental homes, as I mentioned earlier in the call, you know, all the prognosticators are saying that the, you know, when eventually the boomers do sell and there's 63 million homeowners that are in that category, when they do sell, they're going to turn on a rent. And so think ahead a few years, you know, what's going to be in demand? It's going to be rental houses, big time. There's going to be a shortage of rental houses, especially at the middle or low price end of the market. That's where I would focus my time, effort, and energy on. 